Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys is how you get it this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. Tell me about Leo, please. Uncertainty. Somebody knows something ain't going to work as far as it comes to you. A person spying, keeping a close eye on you. This person's trying to figure out how to get you reminiscing here. So this is somebody that's like been really like observing you big time here. So something about your dreams is significant. So the more that this person spies and watches you how you are at this time, the more that they know that this isn't going to work. What's the overall energy for uh, Leo? What's the overall energy for Leo? Pride. You love yourself. You see yourself in others. That's why you choose to be an inspiration. You're the type of person that doesn't want to tear people down. You want to see people win. You want to win. You want others to win. We all can win up in this B. But some people look at us as competition. This other energy, they have ego pride. They don't take accountability. This is someone that doesn't like to see you get ahead of them. And they clearly see that you're getting ahead of them. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So somebody doesn't want to accept... Somebody doesn't want to accept this this new you. Someone doesn't want to accept something about your dreams coming true. And this is about you clearly accepting this person and who they are, who they want to be. And this is about moving forward now. Learning to change things that you cannot change. Let people be who they want to be. You can change by moving away from them and not entertaining it anymore. Leo. 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 Try to accept life's imperfection. Blah, blah, blah. Stay positive. So this is somebody that, this person's got some kind of, um, they look at themselves in a bad lighting, we'll just say. And they don't like the way that you, you're supposed to be wearing your trauma like they wear their trauma. That's what they expect. And you're not doing that. So this person sees that you're staying in this positive light. This is someone that could have um, gossiped about you, you know, formed a group to gossip about you here but this is someone that's more focused on your imperfections than about you outgrowing them like this is someone that's mad that you are outgrowing them don't be impulsive think quietly so this is about not moving too quickly towards things because there's something about your dreams that's definitely significant something about a dream life making its way for you so this is about you thinking quietly trusting your intuition not jumping too quick on on, on Things that head your way. And then this person is clearly like watching and observing you. They don't want to move too quickly towards you. So they're like this really observing you right now. It's like they're going to try to figure out the, the perfect story to try to get you to, you know, to get back in the connection with them. This is your stage. Yep. Yeah, you got eyes watching you for sure. So someone is watching you live your best life. Someone is watching you just everything take off beautifully for you. So you've got eyes on you watching you. For some of you, you got more than one person watching you. This is like that last read I did. You've got eyes watching you and somebody in your somebody from your past knows that there's eyes watching you. Or they could feel like they know like there's eyes watching you. But this person is like all up in your your Kool-Aid. Like they want to be the part of the mix in the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood. Just go with it. Leo growth. Ooh that came out forcefully get mad. Growth. I am always learning, growing, and improving myself, thus increasing my value to the world. So this person's watching your growth. Uh huh. They they have an outdated version of you that's clearly not there anymore. They're watching you grow. They're watching everything around you grow. Transformation. Beautiful. It is safe to let go. I know that nothing is ever taken away unless something better is coming. So this is about letting these connections leave your life, knowing that there's better things to come in. So your transformation, your growth is like leading some kind of beautiful dream life for you. You, this person could have recruited other people to come and watch you, especially for my ones posting things online. And all these people can clearly see that they ain't stopped nothing. The gossiping, the lying, what they ever tried to do, say, send your way, it didn't work. Change of scenery. A change of scenery helps me have a fresh outlook. Helps you grow as a human. So you guys could be wanting to move. You could be changing your hairstyle. You could be like buying new clothes. You could be redecorating your house differently. Something about a yard for somebody. You could be, somebody may have like, created some kind of like what do they call that a she shed i don't know that's for somebody something like like a little area just for you to get away and be you know your area so something here about you changing scenery some of you guys may want to relocate have relocate or you're thinking about that i know i want to get out of this town i'm done with this this state i'm so done with it what needs to be surrendered for leo 
What needs to be surrendered for Leo? Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. That's beautiful. You've got all kinds of cards about something beautifully, like your dream life getting ready to take off for you. I love this for you guys. So this is about being open for miracles because they do exist. They do happen. Surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideals about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in life. So this is about us. That's part of that transformation. Your growth is shedding old belief systems, old views that you may have about yourself and not giving a crap what any of these past people think about you because they're part of your past as well. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So this is about putting yourself front line and center. Unless you've got your children, then of course, you know, the kiddos go first. But this is about you speaking your needs and being true to yourself and not letting anybody from your past try to pull you back in. This is also about you no longer overextending your beautiful energy for, to people that don't want to give that back to you. So surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. So this is about you releasing anything that has to do with any type of low self-esteem that you may have had in the past. Letting that all go. This person's got some kind of low self-esteem. That's why they want to really focus on yours. If somebody is like really like, like this is somebody that's studying you. Like there's more than one person studying you right now. This is your stage. The world is your stage. So yeah, you got eyes watching you and you definitely got past, like I said, past it could be more than one past person watching you that they've got some kind of a low self-worth. So they want to try to project that onto you. And that's not who you are. Surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. So this is about you taking a breath, centering yourself and approaching situations more calmly. So somebody's frustrated that you're no longer frustrated. Somebody's frustrated going back and forth trying to figure out how to come towards you, but then they pull themselves back because they see that you're not the same person that they once knew when you were connected with them still. So that's like where they're going back and forth. Man, you frustrate people, but that's their that's their own issues that they have to work out. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. So this is about staying open to any creative ideals and how to persolve solve pursue a dream or a problem and there's that mirror man you hold a mirror up to people you trigger people so you could have had people just purposely want to try to tear you down because they feel some way about themselves and that's that beautiful light that you have that irritates people so something about your imagine your imagination your creative side letting letting things flow there's something about your dream life i keep getting coming true why is uncertainty here so somebody knows that I'm telling you, the more somebody trusts, not, let me say that again. The more that somebody watches you, the more that you're not, they're, they know that you're not going to trust them. Like, this person's like trying to like mimic your energy. So, somebody didn't want somebody to look at you in a good lighting. Somebody didn't want to, somebody really worked hard to try to make it seem like you weren't who you said you were. There's something here about someone wanted you to be looked at as non committal, like you didn't take relationships seriously now somebody sees how determined how focused you are how committed you are to yourself how your finances like you're really really laser tar targeted targeted really laser focused on your goals and somebody sees this somebody's trying to get you to go back into a connection with them but this person knows you're not going to trust it that is the truth so Something here about the truth and the clarity. And this person's clearly seeing you and how you're operating. They know that you've had an awakening. They know that you look at things differently. Well, this person is trying to get you to look at them in a different lighting. But you look at everything in a different lighting now. This person is trying to figure out how to get you to be stuck on them. And there's something here about somebody is now looking at you as a light worker, an earth angel. We are who we say we are. You know, we don't fit around there. Well, we are who we say we are. So somebody here... It's trying to figure out how to heal something with you. They see you balancing. They see they see your beautiful healing energy. There's something about your aura too, like very magnetic. You're attracting things towards you at this time. Those miracles are coming towards you. And somebody's trying to heal something here. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as a heartbreaker. Somebody still could be entertaining someone else. This past person could have said that you were still entertaining someone else. So there's definitely a third party energy here. And somebody's at a distance. Somebody knows the cycle's closed out. Somebody knows that you're no longer entertaining a past cycle and you're making room for new things here. And somebody knows that 
you're not going to fall into the breadcrumbs. You're not going to, you know, give into these one-sided connections. Like there's something here about your, there's that magnetic aura. There's something here about your energy that speaks for itself at this time. And this person knows that you're not going to accept the bare minimum anymore. Like you want better things for yourself. And somebody really tried to paint you out as bad. They didn't want someone else to give to you as well. Talk about spying. Why is that hair spying? Oh, here they are, tippy-toeing back in, plotting and scheming. This is someone that clearly doesn't know exactly what you've got going on except for the things that you're posting in the spotlight. So they see you moving in silence or that's what you need to be doing because you definitely got eyes on you. Like this is someone here that's strategizing and plotting. Tippy, tippy, tippy-toeing back into your life here. Trying to figure out how to apologize. Some of you have a new person strategizing how to come towards you. Now, I'm not, they, they, I don't see nothing bad about this person. This is someone that's, you know, figuring out the right words to say or something to present you here. Somebody's burden. Somebody sees that you've been laying the baggage and the burdens down. And somebody is trying to figure out how to lay the baggage down between the two of you from a past connection here. This person's heavily burdened watching you. And there's like somebody here. Like, first off, there's definitely somebody here that's watching you that has some kind of power, or they could be well-known, but there's somebody here that's got their stuff together, and somebody is definitely watching to see how much you know. Like, somebody's watching to see exactly everything that you know about them. The past person is definitely trying to see what all you know. Like, they're trying to see if you, you know, like... This, this past energy is trying to... Because you're keeping your silence so much. This past person's trying to figure out exactly how you operate, what you believe in, this because they're watching you transform into something beautiful here. And they're trying to figure out how to get back towards your like energy here because you're keeping your silence. And there's something here about a new person watching you as well. There's a new person here that's got some... They, they, this is someone that's got either some kind of authority that could be well-known, but this is something here where this person's got... They're, they're like high-ranked, we'll call them. They're high-ranked. Somebody knows that you're very intuitive, you're very gifted, you're very psychic, and someone knows this. And somebody's trying to figure out how to play the victim. Somebody thought that you were going to play the victim, and you clearly are not doing that. This is somebody that's been watching you get knocked down, and you get back up, and you come back stronger every time. And so they're emperor of the empress. So somebody looks at you as a counterpart here. You've clearly been balancing out your masculine and your feminine energy. You know how to go after things that you want, but you also know how to attract things towards you as well. So you found that fine balance with your masculine and feminine energy. Beautiful. So this is somebody that sees you in this empress energy. Like this person doesn't even know who you are anymore. You have evolved into this beautiful person that you are. And they, that's why they're spying on you so much. You've got new things coming towards you. And then you've got this past energy trying to get a new beginning here. And somebody's going back and forth. Somebody's trying to figure out how to balance something out. But somebody knows that somebody's done too much behind your back. And they, they try and tiptoe back. But it ain't going to work. So something about somebody waiting to see if some kind of karma's hitting. Some of you guys could be this person's karma or the people that were involved karma. Somebody doesn't want to be left out in the cold. Somebody thought that you was going to not have something somebody definitely didn't want your growth and your transformation to take place and somebody is now spying because they're about to lose something they have lost something so you're in this independent energy right now and somebody is trying to figure out how to get you to go back into union with them and there's somebody else here that looks at you in good lighting somebody looks at you has marriage material it could be something for finances for some of you it could be some kind of financial offer for some of you time about reminiscing for leo so this person's getting ready to come in here and try to, you know, finesse their way with words, trying to figure out how they can communicate with you. Because this person is definitely hearing how good you're doing. They're seeing how good you're doing. This is somebody here that knows that they can't stop you. You're moving forward regardless. And this is someone that watched a tower moment take place, whether they caused it or you just had other tower moments. I feel like your past person did cause it, but I feel like you went through other tower moments. And this person watches you. Wait the foundation break down and then you just build yourself back up stronger. And this person is like, they're like, wow, they're, they can't believe what they're seeing here. So this is someone that's just going to try. It's like they go back and forth and then they're just going to go for it. And there's going to be like unexpected communication coming in. So this is someone that's going to say and do anything that they can to win at all costs. This is someone here that is sees you having wish fulfillments they see you pouring into yourself they see that everything is going into your favor and now they are trying to come back in here with this selfish energy trying to win at all cost with you 
This person's trying to reconcile. This is somebody that's trying to get in the way. I feel like they already tried to get in the way, but they're trying to go. They want to get back into your life because there's something about your destiny. This wheel turning in your favor. All this good fortune, this luck coming through. And this is someone that clearly sees that you are the victor. You are about to be celebrating something here. And they want to get in on that. They want to tell you that they have changed. This is somebody here that knows that you've been pulling your energy back. You've been healing. You've been rejuvenating yourself. You've just really been, you know, sitting with self. Stepping more into that growth. And this person did everything in their power to make you look like somebody that you weren't. And this is somebody here that is trying to figure out how to take control back over the situation by get you, getting you to reminisce with them. Tell me about dreams for Leo. Four of Wands. That's a solid foundation. You could be having dreams about relocating a new house. There's something here about a better union coming in. Like This is like a solid foundation that you are creating for yourself. Like Your dreams are like bringing in solid things for you. Tell me more. Wish fulfillments, man. A lot of beautiful wish fulfillments coming in for you. So definitely, if you if people are popping into your dreams at this time, pay attention to that. Because if you're like me, I'll get a download. Well, I'll know if somebody's coming towards me before they even get here. I already know. So there's definitely something that's going to make you happy here. And it's like something that you would have never imagined, like a dream, your dream life here. And there's somebody here that's got some kind of power or a high-ranking or well-known person that's, that is like part of this dream life for you. So somebody is trying to figure out how to reconcile. Somebody sees that you've got these this celebration coming in for you. You've got this wheel turning in your favor here. All these beautiful changes lining up for you because you chose to make changes for yourself here. And now somebody is trying to figure out how to heal something here because this person sees that you're pulling your energy back and you're just done. So they're like, they're, they're this is someone that is heavily examining you right now. Because they know you're moving on. You're going towards your best life here. And they are trying to figure out how to... This person could be trying to manifest you sexually. Whether they're, you know, they're, they're pleasuring themselves and they're thinking about you. They're looking at pictures of you. But they're doing something here to try to, you know, they, they want you back. And there's something about your passionate... What you do that, that you're passionate about that is bringing you in your dreams. And there's something about a dream person coming in for you. Somebody is wanting to have a conversation here with you because there's something like new partnerships. It could be career. It could be love. It could be both here. But somebody is wanting to have a conversation with you now. Somebody clearly sees that you're detaching from the past as well. I've got water, earth, air, Pisces, Sagittarius, air, water, fire, Aries, Pisces, fire, Scorpio, fire, and water here. So your dreams are coming true. Definitely pay attention to your dreams at this time. Someone could be dreaming about you. Someone could be trying to enter your dream state, but that's not working either. Somebody definitely wants you longing for them. Somebody is trying to get you to long for them. Somebody is definitely manifesting you big time. Somebody is heartbroken that something didn't work out the way they wanted it to, and somebody is unsettled because it's still coming your way. And you're happy. You're chilling. And you definitely changed your heart about somebody because somebody showed you who they were, and you believe that and move forward. Leo. I just heard that song. Sherry, Sherry lady, going through emotion. All right, love is where you find me. All right, <laughs> the songs that I get in my head. Born healer, shamanic lineage, awakening to who you are here. So, so somebody definitely gets downloads in their dreams first off, but there's something about your healing energy. You, you know how to, you know, you're a healer. You're a born healer. You've got some kind of shamanic lineage here. And this is about your awakening and discovering who you are. We are in the year of the dragon. So karma is playing out at this time. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. You've got luck on your side. And this is a jealous person that doesn't want you to have something else. This is a jealous person that doesn't even want to see you win. Like this is someone that they, this is someone that doesn't want to see someone else get ahead of them. And they clearly are seeing this. This is don't want to share. Somebody's looking at your photographs. Without a doubt, they're looking at your photographs. This is somebody trying to return. Like, this is someone that could be looking at your pictures. Either they're touching themselves or they're just looking at your pictures, like, trying to get you to come to them. They're trying to get you to think about them. 
So this is someone here that is losing track of time. And this person feels like something's happening sooner than what they thought it was going to. And you've got these faded events coming in. Of faded relationships. Forces that are beyond anybody's control. Because there's somebody coming towards you that's got... They, they've got some kind of... They've either got their stuff together. They could be well known. But they've got some kind of power to them. Tell me more. Tell me more. Religious factors. So some kind of spiritual lessons taking place. Some some of you guys enter people's lives to be, you know, you serve karma to people. Whether it's good or bad, it's on the people that you, you know, what they, how they want to treat you. So somebody wanted, somebody looks at things differently. Like there's different religious views. So somebody could have tried to steer someone else away from you because of the way you view things. Tell me more. A divine love. Receiving abundance. Your heart chakra is activated. That's that growth that you went through. Beautiful. So you've got somebody here that just looks at you as divine. A divine love coming towards you. So youthful spirit. You're doing your inner child healing. That's part of the growth and transformation there. Beautiful. You could have children here. Some of you guys are creating new children here, but there's something about your youthful spirit. Make sure you're giving your your um, your child, your inner child time to play. So I, I'm a big goofball. I love to have fun. I love to laugh. I'll make myself look goofy to make someone laugh. That's just how I am. So someone tried to do everything they could to influence others to look at you in the bad lighting here. Somebody, somebody had an opinion about your life and they were trying to get others to have the same opinion that they had about you. Now, for somebody, this past person is listening to other their people from their past and they're trying to get advice on how to come towards you. And for some of you, the new person is talking to their friends and they're getting advice on how to come towards you. So you got a lot of people coming towards you. So we've got powerful changes that have taken place after this ex eclipse. You've got changes in your heart. There's some kind of cosmic intervention taking place in your life at this time. And then we've got a karmic relationship. So this is a karmic debt that you've already paid. You've learned from it. Now close it out and move forward or keep it closed out. I feel like you already have it closed out. So keep it closed and move forward. And there's a twin flame energy here. You could have already met with your twin flame or you haven't met your twin flame. Just don't let titles keep you stuck. You are your twin flame. I don't like these titles keeping people stuck. It's just nah. That's just another way to keep people codependent on each other. Tell me more. A loyal companion. So this this new person's got some kind of protection around them. They like they've got some kind of power to them. I keep getting that. So you've got a loyal companion coming towards you. And somebody somebody had to sacrifice something to come towards you. You have already had to sacrifice your old self to get to where you are now. So there's something about your old soul energy here. Somebody acts like they weren't phased by what they what like by what you're how you're living your life because somebody's very pressed about seeing you win, but they're acting like they're not pressed about it. So this is about no longer reacting to the negative energy. Something about your self control is definitely significant. That's part of your growth. So someone was trying to do things to get you to react, and you're not doing that. Good for you. And then we've got your ancestors coming through with the cleanup crew, getting rid of distractions, making better choices for yourself. Beautiful. And then we've got an admirer here. So there could be more than one person interested in you. So you've got eyes on you, especially my ones posting things in the spotlight. So someone is secretly watching you. Yeah, I can see that. And then fear of rejection. Somebody may have some kind of re rejection issues. Somebody wanted to, like, if somebody knew that somebody knew was interested in you, somebody tried to get in their ear about you. So not worth waiting for. Nothing good will come out of it. See, this past person knows that you ain't going to fall for it. No, we've learned everything we need to from you. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is someone that's got some kind of obsession with you. Addictions, poor habits, codependency. This is what this past energy or these past people from your life have been watching you. Break anything that's been keeping you trapped and bound to this low vibing energy. These energies have still some kind of dark energy attached to them. And they're watching you elevate here. Prosperous life, unexpected windfalls. This is because you know your worth and your value. That's why you're attracting high vibe things towards you. I always say every day, my high vibes bring high vibe opportunities towards me. And yes, it does. So someone's trying to figure out how to tempt their way back in. So somebody is like, someone is, someone tried to make it seem like you were easily fell into temptation, but that's not the case. So 
you got some people that are tempted by you. That's all I'm going to say. And someone wanted you to be left out in the cold. Someone didn't want you to have something. Somebody's having an emotional material loss. Because somebody wanted that for you. And now they're going to be in the background watching you elevate and rise up. Careful what you wish on people. Leo. Continue ignoring the haters. You're getting in your money. This is about offers coming in. Somebody um, could have ignored you because they owe you money. That's for somebody. But something here about somebody not wanting you to receive something. And I'm also getting ignore these past energies because something about they're only coming back because you're about to receive something. Tell me more. So this is someone that tried to, someone could have tried to start arguments. Someone got someone else to run away from you because somebody was trying to say, someone tried to start an argument and you were the topic of discussion. Somebody that war with you. So this past person could have, you know, purposely enjoyed people fighting over them, which is sickening to me. But the people are, there's people out there like that. Trust you me, been there, done that. They, they get off on that. So this is about no longer entertaining these low vibing arguments with anybody. You, you, you bros up past that. We don't need to do that. We good. Someone's threatened by you. Someone doesn't like that you are elevating and everything is still coming for you. This is a very bothered person that's mad that you're not bothered. This is someone that tries to bully and try to do things to, you know, make you submit. Ooh, I don't like that. Submit. Blech. Scarcity tactics. Yeah, that's what they've been using. And then they recruit a bunch of people to try to go up against you because you all are big bullies and you guys don't like yourself. That's why you got to tag team up and come against one person. So that's how powerful you are. A whole group of people couldn't take you out. And I'm telling you, there's something here about somebody that's got some kind of, this is like a boss daddy, a boss mama. Somebody has got their stuff together. And there's something about you stepping into your stable, rich energy here. You could be your own business owner or just have a channel where you just, it's, it's yours, you own it. And there's like somebody here that's got some kind of high power. Like they got their stuff together and they're interested in you. And there's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Now for some of you, make sure that not everybody coming towards you that's got this high power, they, not everybody's good for you. So that's where you got to use your discernment here because... Just because somebody got power and they got stuff doesn't mean that they're a good person. So use your discernment. We got a wolf in sheep's clothing. Same stuff, different day with this past person. They ain't changed nothing up. That's why they're watching you. You're like teaching somebody, teaching them something here. So once you back, and this is someone that likes to copy you. They like to feed off of you. This is someone that likes to steal your ideals. So this is the type of energy. Well, so there could be more than one, like, because I felt eyes on you. So somebody could be copying your work right now. So just keep that in mind. But you are your authentic one. You know, you're your authentic self. Not everybody can copy your energy. They can only copy what you're putting out there. And then, then they got to wait and run back and see what you're doing next. So just keep moving forward. You are the jackpot. You could be getting some kind of inheritance. Some money headed your way. Somebody's a hater. They hate on your spirituality. They hate the light. They hate the magic. They hate the power that you have. Well, we had to do a lot of work to get there. You could do the same thing, but you want to choose to stay in your low vibing energy. That's what's going on there. So somebody's trying to figure out how to come in here with some kind of romantic offer. Somebody tried to say that you were sleeping around with others still. Somebody thinks that sex fixes something here. Now somebody's watching you from fake accounts. Uh-huh. Looking you up. Yeah, you got people studying you big time. New past. Some of you guys are moving, want to move. Some of you guys, there's change of scenery. So some of you guys are planning on moving or just that's like, or you're wanting to, or you have. And somebody's getting some kind of proof on your life. And now somebody's upset and crying. Someone was trying to see if you were upset, sad, and hurt. And you're none of those things. Somebody else is. That's one of your past energies. They're the ones that are upset. Leo. Leo. New beginnings. You're going in a new direction here. And somebody's trying to get you to try again with them. Somebody's conflicted. So somebody here. Was somebody from a distance is conflicted to come towards you first off. And somebody was trying to create some kind of differences. Because someone didn't want you to have something here. So someone tried to create blockages here. And somebody clearly sees that you have an emotionally distanced yourself from someone. Definitely physically. And spiritually distanced yourself so this is about not you know letting anybody into your energy anymore somebody knows this 
So we got past life connections here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're done with these karmic lessons. We're moving forward. We're no longer repeating patterns. We're, we've learned from them. We're moving forward. So these people from your past could be from your past life. A lot of you guys are going towards new connections that are also from your past life. But just make sure you're using your discernment. We've got a masculine energy here that is definitely in this feelings. This could be feminines that are in their masculine energy too. Because somebody operates out of their ego and they thought they could take control over a situation. But that's not what's happening. So there's a masculine energy that is wanting to come towards you. And then you've got past masculine energies that are, they're, they're all over the place. Like their emotions are all over the place because they can't believe what's going on here. Yeah, look, well, this person, these people that were involved, they can't believe what they're seeing right now. So this past person of yours could be more than one past person coming back for you. But they are going to come back and play the victim. Like it was a bus it was a misunderstanding. No, it wasn't. You said and you did everything that you meant to do. So don't try to sidestep backwards. That didn't even sound right. Sidestep backwards. That's how delusional it sounds. So that, no, I that said that just right. <laughs> sidestep backwards. <laughs> Trying to come back in here with these mixed signals. This is someone that's messed up, man. They, they, have, they wanted you messed up, but that ain't what it's going on. Somebody lusting after you. Somebody knows that you're forbidden. So somebody, somebody could be looking at you, a new person, and they looking at you, but they know that you're forbidden here. So that's for somebody, but you definitely got some lustful eyes on you. Someone tried to paint you out as lustful, but that's, that's not who you are here. Boy, you got some people lusting after you. Apology. Someone wants to try to get your forgiveness now because you created boundaries here. So, you know, even if you accept somebody's apology, we still create boundaries. We're moving forward. Somebody done cursed themselves. Someone tried to curse you by trying to tie, keep you tied down. Somebody wanted you to be binded and stuck and you stepped into your growth here. Someone could have been doing hexes, witchcraft. Somebody wanted you to have a negative mindset and you're none of those things. That's what you've got coming back for you for wishing that on a Leo here or... Or vice versa. I don't point out signs because I don't like to say Leo's doing that. No, put yourself where fit. That's how I read. So someone here did everything they could to keep you tied down, trapped. And now somebody's in despair because you dove deep. You stepped into your transformation. You allowed that growth to take place. And now you've got this beautiful stage making way for you. And now somebody is falling apart. Because you're keeping your silence here. And somebody has been watching you big time, trying to get information on you. This is new and past people watching you closely. So keep silencing those. Freeze those mother effers out. And don't look back at the past. Welcome new things in. Leo. Leo. If something deep within you tells you that something's not quite right, trust it. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. You are in control of your own life. Exactly. Something doesn't feel right about something, it's because it's not right. A chapter in your life is coming to an end. Rest assured that beautiful things are ahead in this next chapter. Let go of all things that are out of control and move forward. There are more beautiful things ahead than any you leave behind. Absolutely. So, old chapters are written. They're done. Turn the page. Embrace a new chapter. It's going to get written out however you want to see it written. Just don't go back on another chapter because somebody from your past is trying to come back. But just use your discernment because you definitely got eyes on you. So you, you're the stage and you're being watched. So, all right, beautiful Leo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.